Okay, so first of all, I just want to say I wanted to do this over webcam or with a video including my face, but for some reason my webcam won't work or it just keeps messing up when I record, so I apologize. I just feel this situation is a little more serious and it deserves to have that instead of a sprite bopping around or something like that, but I guess I'm just gonna have to settle for the less serious and I feel very unprofessional for it, but here we go, so. I don't want this to be a long video as I really have no interest in making this entire birdie situation pop back up after being more than a year, so. Alright, so Spockter decided to upload a new video on Birdie, basically bringing up this entire drama again that I personally had thought died well over a year ago with her, and maybe it hadn't died at all and I just stopped looking into it and just stopped looking for the drama, and maybe I'm being a little too harsh, but I, I think the video was unneeded. It was truly just a video smashing together all the videos of every other birdie video that was ever made like a documentary almost and maybe that's what it was and i'm taking it the wrong way or i'm viewing it the wrong way but that's just how i saw it it's just a very unneeded video that i personally think is a waste of time um but in his video i did notice that my video was featured twice, once for the time that this situation has been going on apparently, and another time in the corner when he was saying, and I quote, people expect her to change as a person. People who make quote unquote call outs on Birdie as if she is this evil person that we've suddenly realized is an awful person. We know she's a bad person. We already know this. We don't need you don't need to elaborate, we understand." End quote. This was all said while my video was in the corner, and I assume being used as the example of all of this. So I'm really making this video to defend myself, and it sucks because this rant was made well over a year ago, and as it seems either Spockter didn't watch my entire video, or he missed the entire premises of it. And I never once said in my video that Birdie was a bad person or that she was evil. In fact, I touched on all the topics he seems to talk about in his own video. Mental illness, her age, mistakes, and self-harm. I even used myself as an example for almost all of it and, you know, used a situation I had gotten myself into when I was also 12. And. Like I said, the only reason I'm making this video is that within the last 48 hours, I've noticed my birdie video is getting more comments, views, likes, as well as my private inbox on different social medias has been, I wouldn't say blown up, but I have received a few messages regarding the video Spockter made and him using my video as an example in the corner. And I just need to clarify, I never called her evil or bad. I brought up the idea that there is probably mental illness happening and that she is young. I'm also a person who happens to just have hope in everyone I meet or see. So Spockter putting having hope in this girl is in like having hope for her into a bad light, I almost think isn't okay. Even though right now Birdie may not be showing any signs of changing, so much can happen in a short time of someone's life and change can occur. I know from my own experience. I have seen it happen to other people and hinting that she is basically a lost cause is, well, I don't think it's okay to do that at all. I think it's okay to think that to yourself, but as Spockter said or hinted at, in this video, a huge following comes with a big responsibility. And broadcasting that this now 13 to 14 year old girl is a lost cause and has no hope to his thousands of fans is, quite frankly, irresponsible. I think Spockter needs to take his own advice in this situation and maybe think about what he says and uses in his own videos before he uploads it. And I'm going to use my own self for an example of this lost hope again because it seems that this just keeps coming up and it's not fair to Birdie to have this thrown in her face when she's so young. Like I used to weigh 218 pounds, obviously I no longer weigh that much, I weigh 141 pounds now. and. 
when I was 14, 15, you know, I kept saying for four to five years, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to do it. And I kept saying it for years, but never did it. People lost hope because they're like, well, you keep saying it, but you're not showing change. You're not physically showing that you're going to do anything. And people lost hope in me. They told me they lost hope in me. And that didn't help me achieve my goals. It only made them harder to get to because I didn't have any support with it. And I don't think it's fair to make Birdie's goals or her trying to get her mental health on track any harder because you have lost hope in her and that you decided to broadcast that to the world. I, it's, it's very clear she's having a hard enough time. So before I wrap this up, I don't want anyone to harass or attack anyone over this. I, I do think Spockter's video was somewhat okayly done, okayly isn't a word, whatever, but I know his words were probably not directly, you know, going to my video alone, but just due to how it was edited, some people did think it was, and it has left me in a little bit of a spot, which, you know, has been resolved now, but to avoid any further conflict with the issue, I just decided to make this to defend my own video and myself. So yeah, and I hope you all enjoyed this and don't see me or Spockter in every different in any different way than you did before. This is just my honest opinion and I think everyone needs to take a step back from this situation entirely, including Spockter, including myself, and including anyone else who has made a video on it, as it's just I think it's spiraled out of control a little bit and it isn't helpful to try and help someone who obviously doesn't want help from other people. She needs time to herself and time to try and fix herself. So, and no one can force that. Change will only happen when someone truly wants it to and I know this from experience. So, I hope you all enjoy it and I hope you all have a great day. Okay, just keep talking, keep talking. Why is my mic being so stupid? I don't know why. It just is. My mic is so loud.